Hey guys, welcome back to the Learn AP Calc series. Today we're going to go over polar and parametric derivatives for BC only. So if you're in AB, you can just skip this video, go to the next video in the playlist. But if you're in BC, you need to know this. So we're going to go over how to find dy dx for a parametric, how to find dy dx for polar, and drd theta and what sort of drd theta means. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a comment, or you can ask in the weekly live streams we do every Sunday from 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern. Other than that, we'll get started. All right, so let's talk about finding a parametric derivative. So here, our dy dx equals dy dt over dx dt, where we'd simply cancel out these dt's and be left with dy over dx. So to find a parametric equation's derivative, simply find dy dt and dx dt, and then set dy dt over dx dt. So an example here, find dy dx for y of t equals sine t squared, and x of t equals t to the e, t times e to the t. So here we're just going to find our dy dt, and this is going to be the hardest part, is this, and then also simplifying, if you're asked to simplify. So sine of t squared, I have to do the chain rule, 2t times cosine of t squared. My dx dt, I have to do the product rule, so e to the t plus t e to the t. And then I'm just going to put dy dt over dx dt to get dy dx. So 2t, I'm sorry, times cosine t squared all over e to the t plus t e to the t. So that's all there is to it. Again, the difficulty here will normally be simplifying or finding these derivatives. The actual concept of dy dt over dx dt is pretty straightforward. All right, so now let's talk about finding a polar derivative. So to find drd theta, simply take a derivative as you normally would, given the equations written with r's and thetas. So let's say we have r equals 3 sine theta dr d theta is just going to be a derivative here, so 3 cosine theta. Now note that this is not equal to dy dx. What this is saying is how, f what is the rate of change of my radius as my angle changes? So it's talking about distance to the origin, but we don't want that. We want the slope dy dx. So how would we find that? Well, it's very similar to a parametric. dy dx equals dy d theta over dx d theta. But here it's a little harder to see how we're going to get dy d theta and dx d theta. So to do this, you're going to want to write your equation as r sine theta equals and r cosine theta equals. And you'll notice that this is just y equals and x equals. And then you can take a derivative where you'll get dy d theta and dx d theta. So for example, find dy dx for r equals 2 plus sine theta. So here I'm going to multiply both sides by sine theta. And I'll get r sine theta equals 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta. And now I'll take my derivative, I'll actually write it as y equals first just to make this a little more clear. And now I can find dy d theta. And so here derivative of sine is cosine. And then here I have to do the chain rule. 2 sine theta cosine theta. Okay, so now we'll do the same thing for my x. So I'll multiply both sides by cosine theta. r cosine theta equals 2 
cos theta plus sine theta cosine theta. All right, and now x equals two cosine theta plus sine theta cosine theta. And then I'll just take my derivative. dx d theta equals negative two sine theta plus, I'll say minus sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. Now note that this does not equal one because if this were positive it would, but negative it does not. And so now we just put these over each other to get dy dx. And so again here, our, our challenge is gonna to be to write this as r sine theta. And then our other challenge is going to be taking the derivative and simplifying once we have dy dx. So here I just won't simplify because that's just mainly algebra. But do note that that will be the majority of your challenge in problems like these. Okay, so there's dy dx, dy d theta over dx d theta. All right, so that brings me to today's challenge problem. Find dy dx for y of t equals t to the fifth plus ln of t, and x of t equals e to the square root of t. The solution to this is on our website, learn-ap.com. I'll also include a direct link in the description. If you guys found this video helpful, please like and be sure to subscribe for future content. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for updates about our new videos and live streams where we answer your questions about AP Calc, and those are every Sunday from 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern. Links for all that will be in the description, so do check that out. Also, if you guys know somebody who would find our videos helpful, we'd really appreciate a recommendation. Leave a comment if you're still confused about anything, or also any other comments on the video in general. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.